March is National Nutrition Month, so if you're looking to build on your fitness, it might be a good time to learn more about what foods and supplements can help you out. Joining us today with some nutrition tips is a group leader at Lifetime Fitness, Lillian Davis. Lillian, thanks for coming on this Thank morning. Thank you so much. So I know that we've got some supplements and stuff here in front of us. I think a lot of people will be interested in this, right? Because there's so much information out there about what should you take and when. So let's just go through, if you don't mind, some of what you have here in front of us and talk about how it can be beneficial. I know, of course, we've got the multivitamin. Yes. Yeah, so I like to always start people with the multivitamin. The multivitamin is the easiest way to increase your nutrients intake. Um, okay. So a lot of us don't get our daily serving suggestions for like fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. So this is just going to bridge the gap. It's going to make sure that what you're eating, your body is actually absorbing it and making sure that it's able to use what you're eating. Um, next would be, then we have a fish oil. So omega-3, okay. this is great for your overall health. There's so many benefits with omega-3, hmm. whether it is your bone health, um, okay. so your joints, mobility, that thing, uh, hair, skin and nails, right? Mm. Who doesn't wanna take a supplement that's gonna help that? Um, and then next is just like your cardiovascular health, okay. heart health. Great, easy supplement to take. It's in a pill form, so you can just take it in the morning. Don't have to think much about it. Nice. Um, a big topic now is protein. Right. Um, so many different types of protein powders out there. Mm -hmm. I like to remind people don't bargain shop for your supplements. Okay. Make sure that the supplements you're buying is a trusted source. Always look in the back, see if there are extra additives, extra sugars, anything on the back. If you can't really read it, right? If you can't really pronounce it, sure. it's probably not great to be taking. Okay. Um, so protein is great. We always suggest that you take one gram of protein per your ideal body weight. So let's okay. say your goal weight is 150 pounds. You want to take 150 grams of protein a day. Okay. So this protein powder is an easy on the go supplement, not a meal replacement, just a supplement to help reach that goal. Gotcha. And then if you're working on protein, you're probably working on muscle growth. So um, right here I have an amino recovery. Amino recoveries are going to help again with muscle growth. Mm -hmm. It's also gonna help with the recovery of it so you're able to perform better with your next workout. Makes so sense. this is great to take right after a workout. And then last is magnesium. So end of the day, magnesium's gonna help you relax, right? It's um, great for stress, sleep, as well as your cardiovascular support. Wow. So I know some of these, right, you were mentioning you should take at a specific time of day, like mm -hmm. the magnesium at night. But what about protein? Like, is it, can you take protein any time of day, morning, even before bed? Yes. So you can take protein any time of day. We do suggest trying to take protein following a workout. That's where you're going to get the most benefit from it. But you can also um, take it in the morning. If you maybe aren't working out that day, you can take it at any time. And fish oil, is that another one that you could pretty much take any yes, time of day correct. as well? Yep. Okay, and I know you were talking a little bit about finding supplements that are actually good, come from a good source. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, places like Amazon and a lot of online retailers, they have, it feels like hundreds of options. Yes. What do you recommend when you're trying to even just online shop? I mean, I know you're talking about the label, but anything else people should look for? Yeah, so um, a lot of the time I try to tell people not to buy off of Amazon for supplements. Um, sometimes they can be tampered, not the real thing. Mm. It's best to go to the source directly, whether it be their website or or in the store okay. to purchase your supplements. Okay. Well, before we wrap up here, if anyone has questions or interested in learning more, is there a way that they can follow you or get in touch with someone to get some more resources? Of course. So I am on Instagram. It is lillian.k.davis. I like to post nutritional facts and fitness things as well. Okay. Um, and then our facility, Lifetime, is up in Mason. So you can come and visit us firsthand. We have a cafe and some great personal trainers and nutrition coaches. Awesome. Lillian, thank you so much again for joining us. A lot of great information there. And she just said you could always follow her or reach out to Lifetime for more. Amber, we'll send it over to you. Yeah. Definitely some good tips.